Hey. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Santi, Ro 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 Rico, huh? I mean, he had a lot of stuff to tell us. His name is that. I do too. I am going to go grab a. Oh yeah, I, you know, I oh, yeah. he I is too. We're gonna have to get. All right, think thin thoughts, everyone. Well, we're live right now, Mr. Bellflower. Oh, all right. You and Mr. Rubarico are going to be alone on this. I got to meet up with a couple of my Twitch personalities and tell some stuff. Yes, you are. About what? No. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> we'll be all right. Fair enough. On the plus side, that was very reassuring to have somebody in that caliber. Yeah. It's very, it was like, well, there was like a problem or two, but other than that, it was He's like, ass. these two things that you guys need to work on are things we're already talking about working on. So, we already talked about that night. Felt really good. Mm -hmm. I like being pat on the back. All right, I'm not, I'm not sitting, seated here. I actually got to pull some. Twitch peeps aside and have conversations with them. Oh, well. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Sounds hot. Allegedly greatness. Allegedly. Now, you know what wouldn't have happened if you were wearing closed toed shoes? This would have still happened. No, it wouldn't have. Because I don't see what you're talking about. I don't know. My wallet, my keys. I'll put them right here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. There we go. There we go. It's nice to be back, but I think I'm going to take it. Yeah, go do that. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Probably. If they don't hear the muffle, they'll think we're breaking the rules. I muffle around already, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Yeah, we are wearing our restrictor plates as commentary. Yeah, and man, does it feel good to be packed. I'm sure it does. The vibe got lost in the desert for, I don't know, I don't even remember how long. Got lost in the desert. But I'm back, yeah. I just put my thumb out and this spaceship came and got me and somehow I got back here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. Well, I mean, I guess whatever works. Yeah, I guess so. We figured out. Did they, what they look like, man? I don't even remember. Remember in, uh, remember in Men in Black where they do the. <laughs> Oh, exactly. okay. oh, you know what? Very, very, very similar. You gotta be wary of that flashy thing. Yes, yeah, so, oh, wait. Yeah, it's done, I believe. So it looks like we're winding down on the jiu-jitsu portion of the in-ring training led by Chongo Bronson, the madman. And how's it going, Snug50? That is the most stylish emote on Twitch. How's your, uh, how's your shoulder been, bud? You know, still rehabilitating it. Getting a lot of Cairo done by a local in Denver. Avoiding having lifting above head as well, icing and whatever I can vibe to, but a return may be coming very shortly. Ooh, I like it, all right. I, I can't give you a solidified date, man, but patience is a virtue. As long as you keep up on Twitch, it'll come yeah. at least an expected moment. And especially talking about Twitch, we got a Brad Radowski emote. So if you subs when you subscribe... We do? Yeah, you haven't seen it? Oh, no! I have not! When am I going to get one of those emotes, bud? Uh, I don't know. And you know what? I got oh. new gear coming soon, too. Like I don't know. Uh, where is it at? Uh, it was up. Lies! Oh, man, I know I ain't lying. Bud Bellflower is a liar. You know what? I bet Hoff replaced it with himself. You know, he would not do it. No, he would. He totally would. He's trying to say there's an emote to me. It's in level two. Oh, I'm in oh. level two. You gotta get to level two to get to the vibe, son. Oh, it must be un. It's. I'm just no, trying no, to prove scroll it. Scroll back up. Scroll back up. You were in there. Who removed you? You? No, that wasn't me. Really? Yeah. No. Someone removed you, and I don't remember who it was. It was probably Bud Bellflower. It was not Bud Bellflower. He was just like, you know what? I don't miss Vibe oh. one bit, but I'm going to get rid of his emote, too, on top of it. I need you to do me a favor. Oh, yeah. Let's change that name. Just in-ring? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I 
Australia. All the way from the down under, huh? Yeah, they have maps that are upside down down there sometimes. Doesn't the toilet, doesn't the toilet flush counterclockwise? Yes! That's yes, amazing. it does. That's amazing. Isn't it because of the hemisphere? Yes. That is amazing. It is really, it is amusing, ain't it? That is quite amazing. And now we're in the session of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu from Master Chan. Not much, champion. I guess I am the only champion up here, ain't I? I think he's saying that you don't have any champions. Uh, no, no, no. That's not much <laughs> comma champion. That's how I'm going to read it as. Uh, feels good to be back, man. <laughs> feels good to be back. Yeah, I'm sure. It's been, it's been a while. Yeah, I even missed Milestone, which I regret very a lot. But being lost in the desert for that long period of time. Yep. And you know, if uh, you don't want to miss Milestone, you'll have to subscribe. And you really should, because it was a fantastic show. That's not what I meant to write. Didn't they already miss Milestone, technically? Well, yeah, but if you subscribe, you can get it in the VODs. And if anyone else is uh, trying to watch that, then you should subscribe now. Be able to get Milestone in the VODs. You'll be able to watch all over two and a half hours of it. And then you'll have access to the first charge taping since the shutdowns. And it's going to be the only way that you'll see the, uh, it'll be the only way you see it live and it'll be the only way that you'll get to interact with the commentary. So you should and you will subscribe, I'm sure. You shall. As Bud decrees. I so do it decree. Shall be. And we so can't... Bud decrees, so, 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 so it shall so, be. I like that. And we can't but even give away what's going to be at the next charge taping. You have the outcome for Milestone which still is questionable in so many things, which I watched it too, especially the ending of the last match. Yeah, we won't, we'll try not to give anything away, but holy moly, was it a doozy. Yeah. I Maybe. loved it. I'm still scratching my head on things that have come. Having trouble remembering? It was a certain wrestler that made his comeback after a oh, year. Uh, I remember very vividly, bud. There you go. Don't you accuse me of a poor memory. <laughs> I'm just, I can't talk about it without spoiling it for our great audience. That, it's too yeah, exciting. You're, you know, you're right. Just can't contain yourself. So I will stay my tongue. You got, okay, you got chat. Good. What's going on, I like pie? Wow. Well, that is not Bill Goldberg, but... He does oh, have a Goldberg ass thing. You know, now that I'm looking at it, he really does. Yeah. Yes. Oh he's, my God. He's wow. an intimidating human being. Go dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and he, yeah, that is a, I could see him being wrestling. Hands yeah. Down. That is an intimidating specimen. No, he should get in the ring. That's what, that's a, he is built like an ox and a man of many, many talents. Yeah, it looks like he could really take control in there. Yeah. Let's give him a few pointers. He knows the rules. Ooh, maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm scout. We got uh, there's a lot more people in here than last week. <laughs> Looks like Chongo's starting to amass a following. Well, you haven't been here on one of our big nights, have you? I suppose not. We got one up day. to 16,000 on a training session one time. I believe I was there for that. I was talking about just in the ring, bud. No, I know. <laughs> And I'm talking about the training session. Okay. It was 16,000. So apples and oranges here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, a man that knows himself, I guess. Thank you, Jake Husband, for that for hosting the stream. How's it going? All the way out from Mississippi. Hello, Jake Hudson. How are you? Shall be a good night. It's been a while since I've been into training, so I'm always curious to what Matt, Chongo, and just everybody in general has to do with something. There's a lot of white shirts in today. Hey, right, let's count them up. It is a fresh crop today. I One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. And wow. As, and as you can see, well, the vibe That's is That's a big amount. It is. And as you can see, the vibe is the leader of the white shirt mafia. 
<laughs> we are growing strong in numbers weekly, daily, hourly, and by the minutes. Yeah, the uh, Al Snow Wrestling Academy Rocky Mountain is really getting onto a hard start, so if you want to jump on this bandwagon, then you're going to have to jump on now. Especially since we got Scotty Long leading the strength and conditioning, y'all just going to be real good wrestlers after we're through with you. So you can use that link. Come on down and train with us in Denver, Colorado. You know, everything from a commentator, a referee, a manager like Mr. Bud Belfire here. Well, I'm just scouting right now. Yes. And he's definitely considering getting into the ring as well. Well, something like that. We talk about it behind the scenes quite a bit. And Lady B Miniatures, yo, how's it going? And, uh, Jay, Yuri, we, uh, we like to chat with y'all. Something that sets us apart, I would, I would imagine. Jumping on the bandwagon from overseas. Well, I hope that bad wagon can float overseas. <laughs> well, you could certainly jump on this bandwagon virtually with a follow or a subscription. It's all the same to us. And, of course, you can gift one as well. That's how you get COVID, sir. Whoa! That's how you gift COVID. Be careful with my water bottle. Oh, and that's right, Drake Husband. Bringing in the wisdom to the Twitch chat. If someone donates $500, you'll get to see me whip Hoff's ass like he needs. Ooh. I'm telling you, as soon as he comes back. We said $1,000 for you versus me, right, bud? $1,000 for me versus you? I mean, at least four digits, right? Oh, yeah, you said at least uh, quadruple digits. So. Thousand dollars for Santi R R R R R Rico and Bud Bellflower. I don't know why y'all want me in the ring though. I'm much better as a mouthpiece. <laughs> I would give four thousand subs to see those two fight right here, right now, at this moment. <laughs> then let's go. Yeah, right. You hear that, Hoff? I would give four thousand subs to see those two fight right here, right now, at this moment. So to we, see them? No, to see me and you. Uh, or they might be implying... Wait, they just a stipulation subs right a stipulation. now. Yeah, do it. We'll fight. I'll just actually fight you. Hang on, I gotta talk to them real quick. All right. I will referee that too, and I will call it down the line for even, even standards. Oh yeah, we've even got a referee for you, Lady B. <laughs> need two consenting adults for a fight. I love seeing managers getting their butt kicked. I love seeing Bud Belfire get his butt kicked. Well, you know, I ain't a manager yet. I don't manage anyone. I'm just a scout. He's scouting, but under the scout is a manager. I mean, I'm not a wrestler. That's really what they mean. They like seeing people who don't know how to wrestle in the ring wrestling. That's not true. I just think Bud Bellflower is a very versatile human being of very many talents. Oh, okay, well, I appreciate that. Wrestling is not among them, though. Wrestling's not a what? Wrestling is not among them. I think it well, is. Well, I believe probably that. not, but I, I mean, if I had time to train, I certainly could, but this whole right here, right now thing might be a little hardcore. <laughs> yeah. $20,000? Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's chump change. <laughs> Chump change? Well, well, maybe you should donate it then. No, yeah. that would mess up. 20. That would be ridiculous. I would I'm not pulling that out. This whole, <laughs> this whole building would explode if we had 4,000 subscribers. Here. Oh my, yep, I would just die. And it'd be fine. Like, I would die happy. I'd just die happy. Pack the whole state of Colorado. <laughs> yeah, all the power shuts down, the internet goes out, Mars is in retrograde, you know, just all, everything. Straight teasing. Honey, I spent $20,000 on Twitch subs. <laughs> what a great idea. You can tell them they were sub sandwiches. <laughs> or you could show them, since you'd be a subscriber at that point, you could show them the match and he'd be like, well, I, it, it was worth it. Goddamn. I got to see Bud Bellflower finally unleash some justice on the allegedly great Hoff. He can throw those hands. I've seen it. Hoff may like to tout around that, oh, well, I've trained wrestling for two whole years. 
And maybe I haven't done that, but. No, that ain't going to work. Well, all right. We gave it an honest shot. Woohoo! What a jump. All right, we have jumped into the stratosphere of viewers. <laughs> the stratosphere, say. man! The yes. stratosphere. Absolutely. Whoa. That was quick. Trying not to say that. Oh. Oh my God! Oh, it looks like main dog. Thank you, attack. thank Welcome. you, thank you for everyone who is watching now. You are turning in to that red shirt fella in there. His name is Chango Bronson, master of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and a certified lethal weapon, teaching not only wrestling but Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well. Very relevant in the wrestling world. <laughs> Yeah, very gentle SmackDown. And yeah, Jake Cousin, I do appreciate that. Uh, I was able to do a whole lot more. It was a quality of life thing. I could have done it one way, but since I was subscribed, thanks to you, I was able to pull things out of Milestone and do my job a little better. So appreciate that. Man, there's so many people in the ring. We're just gonna have to wait till they start a drill before I before I start naming them off, or else people are gonna just like, well, there's a bunch of white shirts. Which one in the white shirt? Exactly. And I've been on a hiatus for a little bit, about a month now. I see at least four new people that I've never seen before. Oh, really? Yes. Two referees who I know. I've actually. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I actually met that guy at a other local show around here. And he came up, he's like, oh my gosh, you're the vibe, you're the Chris Jericho looking guy. Oh, hey, oh wait, you told me about and that. And I was like, dang, what a compliment. Right? I know, right? And then Tony, actually, right there, is a fellow Chicagoan as well, so it's always great to see people from the Midwest out here, too. Yeah, I've had, I've had a, a small, you know, crazy experience, only in that I would meet people, shake their hand, and say, hey, I'm Bud, and they go, oh, I know. Yeah, oh, definitely. oh, okay. Thank you so much again. You guys yeah, thank you again. That was kind of fun. That's me. One, the only, you know, I would feel a lot better with the camera on me. What's this? Oh. What's up? Uh, Sting and Shaggy. What's that? That'd be close to Who Matt was talking to. Who was that? <clears throat> Goldberg. That was... What do we, what do we call Bri him? That was Brian. He was the head of the production for the Pepsi yeah, Center. The Pepsi Center, yes. yeah. Which head of production for for uh, Pepsi Center, and he was just coming over and giving us a few pointers because yes. he's such a nice guy. I'm very impressed with our work, too, which is always a great compliment coming from someone of that caliber. Well connected around here. Yeah, he specifically said whoever produced this show is amazing, and I am the producer extraordinaire. So, you know. With a little That's just hand. like you to start bragging about it as soon as he's gone. Well, I mean, wouldn't want to do it while he was right there. He'd just say, hey, I already said that. He'd take all of it. Yeah, just let me know what he said. What are you thinking? Credit, it's all mine. It's all mine, he says. You know, the thing I love about Chongo so much, he gets really into great story whenever he explains anything. Yep. Like, he's really captivating. He can tell me how to fix anything and anything. Teach you how to tie your shoes? And he'll be interested? Yeah, and he'll have a beginning, middle, and end in the most descriptive and creative way possible. Oh man wronged him and he wrapped a shoelace around that man's neck. And, and how shoelaces so were invented as well. Well, you know, you go over and back, left to right. Loop de loop and you tie them tight. Oh, right. Bunny go. ears or a Christmas bow, just lace them up and you're ready to go. I just watched that episode a couple days ago. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. I found, I found a website. It's the hub of all internet, like or for all like '90s cartoons. It's all oh, like, good. I'll send you it. It's incredible. Oh, good. Found Teen Titans on there. Oh my god. Oh man, Teen Titans is great. I love it. Teen Titans was the best. Stratosphere. Stratosphere. What's We're into orbit stratosphere. at this point. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I just had the air sucked for me. That's a whole style. lot of digits. I can't, I can't count on my hands. So do you guys have this set to where it's getting all of you? Well, that's a good question. The knob. So it's this one. So hold on. So there's a, there's a microphone here. Okay. Here and here. Oh, so Holy it's like, so, no. This is one microphone. So, here, so if you flip it to... Yeah, what setting is that? This one 
should get all around you. Which one? So does that this look one. Like? So this one is the one straight in front. One looks like an ass. This one. This one covers here and here. So it's here, here, and here. So it's here and here, and then there's one over here. There's like three total. I don't know. So this one, I think it's the whole area. So I just want to make sure I'm giving you. The one that's like directly in the middle. So the one that's kind of crossed over. So this should get. So this should get. I think it's this one, this one, and this one. Okay, well, we can certainly test it. So the mic sounds nice. Test one. And if I talk over here. Sounds. Speak from the diaphragm, boy. Yeah, come on. Well, there is a cover on it. Well, they yeah, pull your mask down real quick and just say something. Hello. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's got to be a little louder. Okay, so you go again. And the mic sounds nice. Check one. You. And the mic sounds nice. Check two. And the mic sounds nice. Check three. Okay. <laughs> Check four, check four, check four. So I think it's actually this side. So I think it's, you're getting. I think the red light is the front. Yeah, the red light's the front one. I'm just trying to figure out which one, because there's three of them. So I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Let me use my knowledge. I've got it on the right, the one that I want. I'm just trying to figure out which, where the third mic is. So like there's one here and here, and then either here and here. That's what I'm trying to figure out. There's not four? No, there's only three. Now I think, well, if there's a fourth one, then it would be right here, and then, I'd, okay, check it. Check, 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 check. And this is check two, check two, two. Check, 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 check. So I think that's all of them. I'm just trying not to get the one back behind so you guys aren't getting all the shit back there. Right. Your F, would you say your effervescent knowledge? I don't think that's what that means. Main dog says that's not it. <laughs> What's not it? That setting. How does he know? He hears it. That's a great question. Is he a tech guy, though? Oh, he's, he's just a main dog. All right. Yeah, he's just a Twitch dog. All right, so check. He's the main dog. Check, 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 main dog. Okay, actually, there, so there's not one over here. Go ahead. And there's check two, two, two. Go ahead. Right. Check, check, check. Do it again, bud. Check, 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 check. Hmm. I wish I had the manual here with me. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Okay. Check. Check, 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 a variety pack. It's got over a dozen flavors. You can get over a dozen percent off if you use code RMP at checkout at repsports.com. That's exciting. I didn't know we had an energy drink sponsor. You didn't know we were partnered with Ray's Energy? Ah, I could use that for the drive up. You know, it's funny. I just moved into a new place and signed into a new gym, and they have Ray's at the gym. Hey, now, that's seen, a good one. I've seen it at the shops. What's your favorite flavor? Good question. They're all really good, to be honest. You really can't go wrong with any of them. I personally like the mango flavor. You can't, you can't go wrong with mango with anything. Really. Yeah, mango is really a treat. It's uh, God's gift to man. The kid. The buster. The, the ghost. Buster. The bully buster, right? Sure, yeah. Sure. Some would call him a bully, but I would disagree. Even the refs are getting involved in these jujitsu builds. Because you never know if you step out of line with the ref. Hey, yeah. It's a great, and I mean, great skill set to have. I've been watching a whole lot of old NRW footage, and some of these wrestlers lay their hands on the refs, and it is. Uh, so that one that's is right. Yeah, you got to know how to defend yourself. You got to. That's this not my. Or, I don't know you all the way to the bank. Although that's just, that's, what that's my purse. <laughs> This one is all oh okay. So this is the one we want with that, that, and that. So that's where we are. And this one is everything. This one is. Throw them into an arm bar toss and just rip their arm out of their socket. For the, for the future. Well, you know, 
good to have. It would certainly, uh, it would stuff. put the bus in seats. Yeah, whereas you can train as a ref here and also learn arm holes in bars at the same time. You, you are during those situations. certainly yeah. correct. Yeah. Nice. Thank you for all those follows, everyone that's been making Otis slap the belly. Yes. Make him slap, make him slap. Oh, are you guys running ads? No. I hope so, because that's the... That's what we're supposed to oh, do. Well, there's time. those. Long ads. Oh. Every 15 I, I minutes. I don't touch any ads, so... Started in four minutes. All right, well, if you're not a subscriber, you're going to see a 60-second ad break, but if you're a cool kid, you're not. So do the next one at 8.30. What? Remember what we said about the word if, Belfon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you're a cool kid, like all the people that are still hanging in with the subscriptions... You don't have to watch those stupid ads about McDonald's or wh whichever else. Whatever is happening in the ad. Because you, you came to this channel for one thing and one thing only. That's Rocky Mountain Pro content. And the only, all you should get. And the only thing that we'll try to sell you is some energy drinks, racing chairs, and uh, humble bundles and whatnot. But all quality products. Or maybe a watch. You never, you never did a humble watch? bundle? I can't say I a humble bundle is uh, it's a, a website where there's a whole bunch of video games, and you pay a fifth of the price for them because they're old video games. So you won't get any of the new ones, I don't think. But we are partnered with Humble Bundle, and you can Those were the glory type days this in. Part. And thank you, Mercury Aiden, for that subscription. Oh, boy. You're welcome. With the money months? from his own. Wallet. Holy moly, that is over two years. We have a Humble Bundle. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, we're just humble. rolling in sponsorships, are they? aren't we? Uh, they're partnerships. Partnerships. That's something I should add to this. Mutually beneficial partnerships. I don't see them. Oh, yeah, you're talking about them guest referees. But no, these guys are training to be just full-fledged referees. Yes. And they're being trained by one of the greats in Dewey Larson. And commonly in a match, the refs aren't seen as oh, the tough so ones. But you never know. You never judge a book by its cover. A lot of those yeah, You decisions. never know is the best reason to never get in a fight, kiddos. Exactly. Ref, commentary, nothing. Or just dude on the street. Just, you, can, you, can, you never know. Everyone here can fight Bud Belfour. Hey, now. Hey, now. This is what dreams are made of. Remember, there's a price to pay if you want to fight Bud. Right. No, there's an anti fee. Yeah. Right, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta tip us five hundred dollars. Flowers, uh, emergency room visit. Yeah. No, I think you mean that they're gonna have to pay for your two feet casts and a new pair of shoes for you after I'm done with you. Oh, buddy. There are baseball bats. Well, over thank God, there. my man's a sandals man. Why? Why is that preferable? It's comfy. Do you not enjoy comfort, Mr. Bellflower? Yes, not at work. at work. This is a Mr. professional Bellflower? setting. You twitch. So do you like to be uptight at work? I don't like to be uptight, but y'all make me. <laughs> you make yourself uptight. That is not true. Yeah. That is baseless Ooh, propaganda. Nope. Those are tight. When I show up to work, I am ready. I'm genuine and bona fide. I'm ready to do exactly what I'm supposed to at the best of my abilities. Y'all clearly are not because you're wearing open-toed shoes. Well, thank you. It's setting a good example for Young Hoff. Well, next young week, Hoff? Next, yeah, he ain't no younger. Next I'm Monday's the oldest the person at this table. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Well, you know, we're living in 2020, man. Anything's possible. Age is but a number. You're right. I'm still twice as wise as Mr. Bellflower here. Max, <laughs> You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? Well... That's a genuine and bona fide. Hey, no, hey, no, oh, hey, no, 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 Get it. I dissed him pretty hard. No, you didn't. You think you did. You just copycatted me and went Roberto Padilla on us. He went great hop on you. No, 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 no. If you tune in to Rewind, you know that he is paying homage to Roberto Padilla. And he oh. thinks it's funny too. It's freaking hilarious. It's hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. It's a little uncalled for. Was that? I am twice as wide. Last week, guys, it's the last round. Twice as wide. That is a little rude. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. 
Now we got a lot of people that toe the line here. Sticks and stones, guys. It happened again on the, on the replay here for Sante. Uh, oh, what did? Oh. What happened? What did you do? Oh, no, the... Because your phone's on a little bit of a delay. Uh, so we got the Roberto Padilla twice. Uh, Who's on the DJ? I've already heard this song tonight. Yeah, dude. Great song, though. Honestly, I one of the boppiest. Me too. I miss being alive in the 80s. That was a good time. Oh, the, the wild nights. I would have been a 60s guy. Oh, yeah. Dude, same. Oh, yeah. 50s and 60s, that's where I belong. Yeah, late 50s going into the 60s. Why is that, Hoff? It's fun. Yeah. Oh, all right. What's Swing that? music and One word. Elvis style? Presley. I mean, you can listen to Elvis that's Presley it, today. That's it. Okay. Just go to Spotify, man. I can't, I can't defend the 50s and 60s. I'm definitely an 80s guy. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to live in the 50s and 60s. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This guy would be pretty tight. Though. I know for sure my nano internet. wouldn't. I don't know, some people back in those days had respect for other people who dressed differently from them. What? No, everybody dressed like no, me. No, they all wore tan trench coats and Bro. suits back then. No, but what oh, really... Yeah, that's just not true. What, Let's not get into the, the real history of it. Was this the 60s? Or 50s, 50s and 60s? No. What? 50s yeah. and 60s, it was a very different time. Well, oh, they were man. also brewing LSD for, every, for all the hippies to sit around in. I mean... And on top of that, too. I mean, well, there's... You I mean, had your zoot suits, and then you had the hippie phase right after. Yes. Those are the two things I would identify from the... Uh, oh, and I think 50s and 60s, I think something. Letterman jacket and jeans. Oh, my God. Should I hit the uh, train command? No, I got it. type an exclamation point train there, Mr. Radowski. So, hey, man, if you want to come teach us a thing or two, you're welcome to jump in the ring. Bellflower. Respect for the Twitch chat. All right. Is, should, should I just shut up? And, like, what's, what's the deal here? Because he came in here on his Put own volition. Hands, no, I got to put my hands up so that I... Okay. Okay. Well, I never know. All these snowflakes that we got to deal with. How dare you talk about Mr. Radowski like that? Right. Hey, I'm ta I am not talking about Mr. Radowski, but I mean, if yeah. you're putting the words in my mouth, I'll yeah. say them. Man, you're a blizzard compared to me. Oh, that's because I'm strong oh. and powerful and I make people fear for their lives? Don't flatter yourself. One single snowflake is an insult. A blizzard is not. Don't, We're not going to move our hair to school DJ Jacob. <laughs> Is that Dishonored in the chat? Howdy, Miss Dub. Hello, Lady Riff. <laughs> I love that name. I've tried my best, Dad. That's the most Bobby Hill name I've ever heard. I'm trying my best, Dad. <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. Hey, guys. This is Hoff, the director of Twitch, hanging oh, out with yes. you guys. Hold on. Um, please keep any disputes that you may have in your private messages. That's not what this place is for. Them's them fancy whisper things on Twitch, though, right? Oh, yeah. Private messaging. You can take it to the DMs. Just by you. <laughs> you sassy bitch. <laughs> Oh man, Keanu Reeves is following us. That's pretty cool. No, what? Yeah, you want it, okay. I mean, that's his name. Oh. Keanu, thank you. 
Stick to any very way. empathetic human being, Mr. Reeves. Well, you know, when he gets annoyed, he, beca he becomes Keanu Peeves. <laughs> hey, you know, after summer comes, it'll be autumn, and then it'll be Keanu leaves. <laughs> I try not to do puns, but I'm trying to turn over a Keanu, a Keanu leaf. What? <laughs> Someone please. The man makes himself out for his puns sometimes. Someone please give $500 to this channel so I can get a bellflower in the ring. Please. Get these fans. Hey, what do you call the Matrix mixed, mixed with System of a Down? Keanu Metal. Hey, watch your shoulder, man. Watch your shoulder, man. Watch your shoulder. Calm down, Hop. Calm down, Hop. Yeah, watch your shoulder, man. He's been out for months. The anticipation of Hop and Bellflower. We're going to re-aggravate the injury. Hey, baby. Oh, boy. Now we are on to the mists of training. It's about to get exciting. Where we begin with our goals. I can't wait to see the new ones, bro. Because, like... As soon as you walk in here, obviously this is a very hard thing to make your body do. But once you get into it, the world is your oyster, man. Hey, man, when the world's your oyster, then you're gonna you're bound to find a pearl, right? Absolutely. Yes. Can we get Bud to quit laughing? No. <laughs> yeah. A shrubbery. All right, here we go. He's one of the newest members of the White Shirt Mafia. Yeah, he might be the newest White Shirt. That is Tony Adams. And then right after him in the purple shirt is Atiba. Fellow Chicago native as well. Ooh. He knew exactly oh, wow. where I was from. Oh, Tony, not Atiba, right? Tony, yes. Oh, right, 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 okay. Yeah, he's, from, he's the Rocky Mountain Dragon. He's from the Rockies. Right after him was Dario in the white. And then in the green is the Montbello Buffalo Brumach. And the uh, the gray shirt. And here we got Danny Owens East. Wow, I'm impressed by Danny. He has definitely come this a ways is way with his role. Owen Daniels, I believe. Danny Owens East. Owen Daniels. Owen Daniels. And then this is one of the referee white shirts. I believe his name is Jeremy. And all the refs, they got the roles to a team. Yeah, and I think this one's name is Justin. I believe. It's pronounced Christine. I don't believe that's how it's pronounced. No. But in the red shirt now is Ali Gato, the queen of the Lockettes division. Ring veteran for sure. And she's been here, ooh, has she been here the longest? Long time. Out of everyone out of, in the ring? Out of all the female talents. No, I think out of all the talent in the ring, she's been here the long, maybe, no, yeah, yeah. She's been here You're longer right. than anyone else in the ring. You're absolutely right. And then who was after her, Hayden? Yeah, so the other white shirt, Hayden, and then we're right back up into the starting lineup with Tony Adams. Yes, very, very young. He makes that look so easy. Yeah. I like concussed myself the first time I tried. <laughs> Did you? If yeah. I'm not mistaken, Mr. Rico, you were with me at your tryout. I was. Yeah, you uh wow. you whooped my ass. Oh. I'll tell you that. Man. Well, how about that? That's all right. And see, this is why I'm not a wrestler, because I know I couldn't take all that Welcome stuff. Welcome to the table, Chongo. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome, Chongo. Chongo yes, yes, capital to see you all again. How's the push for tonight? Uh, very busy. Pretty busy. Excitingly so. Uh -huh. Yes, capital, capital. So for tonight's performance, we are going to be doing a um a Jim Ross commentary drill. Ooh, JR. Yes, the great on, one. So I'm going to start. Can I wear with... his hat while I do it? Hell no. Uh, that, um, so we're going to do this first round off camera to get you guys ready for it. Does that sound good? Absolutely. So can I take two of you guys with me real quick? Maybe you two first. All right. And you keep the chat. Got it. And then we'll roll. All right. Well, Santi R R R R Rico and Brad Radowski are heading off to do a drill. I will keep you all entertained. Why'd you have to ruin this great moment? I have finally had some reprieve without anyone annoying me. 
How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing all right. Doing good. Doing good. Thwart my plans. Thwart your plans. Thwart my plans. <laughs> what are you? Hi. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yes. <laughs> Entertain, Mike Sheeran. Well, good. Drown creation. I'm gonna give you a bit of a verbal warning. Everyone here is training. Everyone here is doing their thing. This is what we do. This is our workplace. I appreciate your gung-ho nature. But... You do? Please understand that everyone is learning. And there's a lot of white shirts in the ring, too. We've got a whole lot. We've got a whole lot of young, new talent. Yeah, and if you want to get the most comfortable and effective gear for your wrestling training, head over to CollarAndElbow.com. It is Al Snow's wrestling uh, apparel brand. And if you use code RMP, you'll get 10% off. It's a great deal, and you should do it. And hey, there's something similar with AK Racing. Go over there and get a deal. Use RMP. And get all the back support you need. And would you look at that? If you go to Humble Bundle, you'll get you a nice big bundle of games. Well, now, when you go to Humble. Oh, yeah. When you go to Humble, you'll get yourself a nice bundle of games. It'll be fantastic. Just use code RMP. In the room, we got Dario Rose and Lilith Grimm hitting those ropes. Hang on, I'm going to get this gentleman's name for you real quick. He's new. No, no, no. He gave me a different one. What? Well, all right. You know what? I might be all right with it. So in the red, I know we have Ali Gatto. And in the white, it's Derek Guess. Derek Guess. I'm wearing some Guess cologne right now. That's a uh, mighty oh, fine. Man. That is a refined name. Well, you know, you got to be frugal with stuff like that. How's it, uh, how's it working out for you? Oh, yeah. I mean, not that I want it, but yeah. <laughs> they keep swarming me and just asking, Oh, my God, you smell so good. Get away from me. I'll give you something to explore. Bud, that is not appropriate. I didn't say anything uh -huh. that is not appropriate. Well, now we've got... Uh, hey, man, Dora likes exploring. There's a lot of people that like exploring. Danny Owens in the white and Rumok, the buffalo in the green. Rumok hurt his big toe. You hurt your big toe? Yeah. No, not the big one. It's the big one, buddy. No, the name's Bud, not Buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the buffalo. Flower. The buffalo you saw be super vicious at milestone 10 just hurt his big toe. Big toe he stubbed his toe and he's just like y'all, it hurts. I should drop the weights on it today, so we're... Oh. Who do we got in the ring now, Mr. Bellflower? All right, well, in the white, we've got the youngest member of the uh, Alice Snow Wrestling Academy, Rocky Mountain. That is Hayden. And then in the purple is the Rocky Mountain Dragon, Atiba. Oh, man, look at all these sweet new follows coming through. Thank you so very much. Uh, big low, boss, three e ed, <laughs> Kovar ninety nine, my baby cakes thirteen. Thanks, baby cakes. Oh my god. And uh, <laughs> let us call you Stefan. Thank you, thank you so very much for joining us tonight, this Monday night here at the Al Snow Wrestling Academy, Rocky Mountain, or uh, A Swarm. 
Monday Night A Swarm. <laughs> there, there's a palindrome in there somewhere. No way, no. Palindromes are the things that, like, a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. Yes, the, uh, that's a palindrome. What's the thing that Voldemort did at the end of the second movie? That's a... Either way, it doesn't matter. What the hell are you talking about? When you can use the same letters to make another word. You know, he was like Tom Lenovo Riddle, and like, I am Lord Voldemort, and he used all the same letters. It's not a palindrome, but a... Anagram, thank you. I hate you so much right now. You know, it'd be a whole lot easier if palindrome was the same frontwards as it was backwards. If palindrome was itself a palindrome? Yes, yes. That would be great. We're getting ready to show you guys some matches. We got some scrimmage matches coming up. Some scrim scrimmages? Strongo gonna pull you away for other stuff or what? Likely. You sure didn't. Where am I going to take an ad break, actually? Ad break? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, as a subscriber, you do not have to worry about this ad break. But as a free viewer, just take a minute, enjoy the ad, come back to us, tell us what the ad was about. We'll see you guys All in you guys watching from the bridge. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ow. Oh, you hurt yourself talking, huh? So not ASWA? Yeah, I think Aswa was a System of Down song. A Swarm! <laughs> We're a swarm, man! You know, I don't like that. It reminds me of Yellow Jackets. Or the Murder Hornets? Uh, I don't care much about the Murder Hornets, but the, the, go the Yellow Jackets can all burn in hell. Yeah! <laughs> Man, I say one thing about football and the Buckeye follows us. Appreciate it, I guess. <laughs> AG818. That is an acronym. Air trees, water animals. All trees, water animals, if they sit under the trees while it's raining. Crimsy. Crimsy? It's not crismy yet. We still have to do Thanksgiving and Halloween. <laughs> Who's All the right. first matchup we got coming in? Looks like Hayden and Atiba. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're going to have the Brewmock versus Derek Guess. Ooh, we got. A whole lot of meat in the ring. The Montbello Buffalo and the Enforcer in Derek Guess. You mean the Mont Buffalo? The Mont Buffalo. Maybe. I wouldn't call him that to his face, though. You might because you're large and know how to wrestle. Jack McQuinn and Too Rich for Twitch. <laughs> thank you for those follows. Thank you, thank you. You're looking actually right at... Uh, our CEO, Mercury Aiden, reading his, reading his books. He's a book reader. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? No. The Eggman, 22. Thank you for the follow. D Hill 7721398. Thank you so much. Yeah, Mr. 7 million to you. <laughs> That's oh, his diary. Always, I'm reminded of Doug Funny anytime I hear of a diary. Dear Diary, today, <laughs> Patty and I went over to the Super Rad. <laughs> yeah, if he loses, it's because of his toe. You guys hear that? He's already blaming his toe on his loss. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard him blame it on the rain. Now he's blaming it on the toe. Wait, 
When did he blame it on the rain? Well, I thought that was just a phrase. Everybody blames it on the rain. Now go away. Wow. Well, they got to stand ringside so that they can. Yeah, and I'm the dirt bag. You are kind of a dirt bag. No, I am not. I'm here to present a professional sport to the people of Twitch. You, you personally. Yeah, yes. Bud Bellflower. Yes, me. The Bud Bellflower brand. Yes. Are a jerk. What? I'm saying. No, I'm not. No, it's it's fine. You Just what? accept it. Whatever you have to do to keep yourself from going insane. I think we got a scrimmage match going on in the ring. Or maybe not. But anyway, whatever helps you sleep at night, I'm not a jerk. All I'm doing is providing the best professional wrestling content on Twitch to all of the people of Twitch. And the way that I'm doing that is professionally. You wouldn't know a thing about it, would you? It's kind of hard to do it professionally when, never mind. Okay. Never mind. Well, you, you just keep it to yourself. I'm sure it would have been a bit too far. It's a little much. Yeah, probably. I did not know you could do that. When you don't make money. Yeah. All right, looks like we're getting started. Ding, ding, ding. There's the bell from our one of our newest referee trainees. It's Derek, Derek. There's the lockup, Derek Guess, and the Buffalo Brumach. Oh my God, look at that. Got him in a nice headlock. He ain't going anywhere right now. He's got that weird hole in his ear shoving up against his skull. That's got to do something. Oh, but a reversal to a hammerlock is Brumach. Woo! The Brumach hammerlock. Check it out. Oh, Damon Ace watching, of course. It's hard to look professional open, wearing open-toed footwear. You're Thanks, right. Main dog. You're right. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, you want to see a magic trick by Bellflower? I do. Boom! Although the name... With do you see that? Do you see that he's work? He's rubbing his palm into the forehead of Derek Guess. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to do what you got to do. It's function over form, baby. Yeah, but reversing nice. that is Derek Guess. Very good. Rookie showing some, uh, some veteran savvy. Oh, but with that, he's very easily countered by the buffalo. Oh. And right into the midsection is an open oh. open palm strike fed by... Oh, that's a closed palm strike. I'm not sure if that's legal. It's legal. Just read the rule book. I well, emailed it to you. Oh, my God. You know I don't check my email. Nice shoulder tackle from the rookie. Oh, well, the ref was in the way. Derek Guess. Pulling a Tommy Boucher, we, oh, he was. Drew ducking that clothesline. Oh, oh the hip toss. Hip -toss. Cover, looking for a quick... What? Looks like Brumach isn't done with Derek Guess yet. It, what, is that a reverse armbar? What do you call that? Oh, God. No, well, now it's not an armbar. A few elbow strikes to the jaw, as the Buffalo have. <laughs> you and your open palm strikes tries to close. Palm is confused. Thanks, Aardvark. Ha, 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 Close fisted. <laughs> it was funny. Shut up and laugh. No. Brumach bringing Derek Guess up to his feet. Oh! A nice knee lift right at the midfield. Oh! Followed by a sledgehammer. Single arm sledgehammer. Oh, God! Right into the back. That's going to make it hard to stand up, but he's got to use oh, the ropes to crawl geez. back. Do you look at that? Look at that. Look at Brumach's face. Yeah, he's, he's got murder in his eyes. That is the look of a man. Oh, no. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. No, count him out faster. Count him faster. Three. Come on. Four. Can you? Okay, he's breathing. Okay, good. Good. God, that was diabolical. Brumach slowing things down, bringing Derek Guest to his pace. Can you silence that phone? Because hearing myself is messing me up. I agree. Hearing you is messing me up, too. Oh, God! Oh. Well, I locked it on accident, but oh well. Brumach. Clasping on that neck. Well, he's got him in a full Nelson now. A kneeling full Nelson. But he's got it really cinched in. Those shoulders, those shoulder blades have got to be, oh. I can hear them cracking from here. It's not just the cracking, it's the shuffling. That rubbing together. Oh, I don't want to hear it. The grinding. Oh. Oh. 
It's okay, because now he's got him in a headlock. I think yeah, he's but that's gonna... even worse, because that's connected to the brain. You need all them bones to keep your heads up. Oh, no. Derek, guess. With the temple destroyer of some sort, just crushing the head of Derek Guess. What did you call that? The temple destroyer? The temple destroyer. Although that's probably a very inflammatory thing. We probably can't name anything that. Brumach working to a, a weak grip. <gasps> On those claws. Oh, oh, God. And with the thick skull of the Montbello Buffalo, gets him with a nice headbutt. Really laying it in is the Buffalo. Tearing Derek Guess apart. Oh! There we go, but he didn't see that one coming. Close line. Derek Back Guess elbow. playing possum so that he could get a little more awesome. Derek Guess finding his fire. <laughs> oh, hip hip toss. Toss. That's how you use their momentum against them. One, two. Oh, and a kick out at two. That wasn't a kick out, that was a shove out. He threw him across the ring. I guess you can't, Damon. I'll fix that in just a second. Oh, he's on the ropes. Derek Guess forced to break that hold. You need a glass of water or something? Oh, we might actually have an injury here. We might have an injury. Uh oh. Oh, no. Did you see that? Did you see that? Thumb to the eye. Oh, God. Back to that headlock. And he's clamping down with his other hand. Where's the cute? We got him then to a body scissors. I was promised on Mondays. He's actually taking, he's actually in the uh, character courses. There's a one and a two. Ding, ding, ding. You want Brumach to bite this man? Brumach doesn't eat people. But why? That's got to be. Well, no, we saw Ronan bite Danger Dean in the rewind, so it must not be against the rules. By the way, while we're waiting, I just want to point out to you guys, you see that countdown timer at the very bottom next to the raise energy uh, bug there? I that do. It's for the return of charge in just 11 days and 9 hours. Ooh, Counting under down. two weeks. Under two weeks. You could join us for our live television program shot, tape recorded, here on Twitch, then edited for TV later. Yeah, but only you and the cool kids will see it first yeah. when, when you, you subscribe. subscribe. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I was waiting for the ref to get knocked out. That's not all pro wrestling. You'll okay. be waiting for a while, Keister. You want to see Santi Rico body slam someone? Look. I'm sorry, but I don't think Santi Rico could body slam somebody. Yeah, have you seen the size of him? He's smaller than Bud Bellflower. Yeah, that's really saying something. Well, Crimsy, just saying, when you can, make sure you do so. Get some awesome pro wrestling action. In fact, as a subscriber, you even get access to our return to pay-per-view milestone 10. Mm-hmm. You get our entire RMP network on Twitch. You get the entirety of every video we've ever played on Twitch. The entire back catalog. And once Rewind catches up, we're going to be able to give you every single match that has ever happened in NRW or Rocky Mountain Pro history. If only attractiveness equated to physical prowess. You know, I'm saying. Keister, if that was the case, then I would be the best wrestler in the room. None of y'all would be able to wrestle. That's what it'd be. Wow, bud. And I didn't even mean that as your name. <laughs> Except me, of course. No. You're the worst. You know, That's okay. You understand that you're the worst. No, I'm not the worst. I'm the best. Forced Savage. Gamer Wolf Boy, Aiden Johnson, thank you for the follow. Slurpy Dog, Joe Mama. <laughs> There's one. Uh, got me. That's a name. Got me to pop. Ladies and gentlemen, 
it's time again. We got to keep the lights on. As a subscriber, you won't see these ad breaks. But as a free viewer, they're going to step in your way. So make sure you keep watching. Make sure you come back to enjoy some more professional wrestling action coming in just a minute. In literally just a minute. Looks like we're going to get Ali Gatto and Lilith Grimm. Riffed by the legend Dewey Larson. For the first time ever. Oh, God, you're right. Yeah. This scrimmage match will be the first time you ever see these two going against each other. This is a debut of the world. Did you hear what Dewey just said? He said, don't hurt her. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh! Disrespect. Look from going off the clothesline. Look like a forward chop block. Oh god. Kick to the gut. Oh. It's gotta oh. stretch out the quads as well. Oh no. Early pin, but not even a one count. Takes a little more to get the demon down. Oh, back break. Oh, my God. Ow. Right on time with the T.O. subscription. <laughs> Thank you so much, T.O. God, I hate seeing that. Oh, my God. Oh. And really getting her in the corner with all these boots to the midsection. And using all of her momentum. Now she's coming in for the big one. Oh, God. Oh. With the European uppercut. All that momentum into the corner. And another one that... Had it scouted out, did the demon. Bringing the knees up. A lot of knees to the baby ribs. Caving in that rib cage. From both sides. Oh, oh my God. Lord. Well, I hope your intestines are in the same place, Gato. Oh. oh, a huge shoulder tackle from the demon. Now that is viciousness. That is what I was talking about from the demon Lilith Grimm before Milestone. Now she's got her in a, in a headlock with, oh gosh, she's cutting off all the lower back. Transferred into a chin lock. Camel clutch. A camel clutch. Yes. No. This is great. Happy to no, support you guys. It. Really, really entertaining. Thank you so much, Tio. Love the energy with these two. Jay Buckeye, you don't even know, my friend. Yes, the energy, ener <laughs> energy of these two in the ring is what's causing me. Oh, not even a one count. They the energy of the people around the ring, too. Oh, yeah. It these kind of gives are... you that little oomph. Oh, God. Clubbing. That's because these women are in there beating each other's asses. Clubbing for to the back. I want to see someone get choked out. You well, might that's a, your wish. That is against the rules. So, oh, God. Well, there you go. But you can only do it for four seconds. Dewey's got a point. You got to stay in the middle. The, the ropes aren't there. Oh, boy. Oh, that axe kick right to the lower. She is really back. working those ribs, the baby ones oh, and otherwise. God. Every single rib. Lilith Grimm sticking to what she knows best. Even the jaw rib. Those forearms. Oh, but... Oh, 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 my, god. Oh, oh my god! Knock Whoa. your teeth loose from that one. I hope the Tooth Fairy's still in business. Oh, oh my god! Brutal lung blower! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just a two How did she kick out of that? Just a two count. How did she kick out of that? That's amazing. I could hear all them bones cracking from here. What is going on in the ring right now? Well, it's grim, vicious, and resilient. Oh. Right to the side oh, of the jaw. No. That's got to be it, y'all. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. Wow. Holy smokes, y'all. Oh, my God. My everything hurts yeah. watching that. How many teeth are laying in the ring right now? One, two, seven, 45. Oh, my God. Are there even that many teeth in two people? Yes. Are they both sharks? Yes. Oh, my God. Wow. That got me going. I'm tired now. 
Oh yeah. My everything hurts. Whew. I'm sorry, I'm fanning myself right now. Me too. I've just got a better method. The energy of that match. You're getting me mostly with that. Whoops. Bro. Says Damon Ace. Bro indeed. Were you pulling for Lilith Grimm? Bro? You know, we're 70 followers away from 7,000. Are we? Oh, we you know, are. You guys, it would mean the world to us. And plus, you would get some fine wrestling action. And you get notified every time we go live. All you got to do is click that follow button and click that notification bell. And you know, we are Twitch's premier pro wrestling promotion. So if you follow us, you're following the hot young thing going on right now. Very true. I bet you five, ten years, everybody in the world's going to be talking about Rocky Mountain Pro. So why don't you just hop on that bandwagon? Do it now before people claim that you're one of those bandwagon fans. Oh, yeah. We'll hop on the regular wagon, not the bandwagon. I'm going to start red listing Rover. off our new followers while we're waiting for uh, our next match to start off. Mint Magicians, Wit D. Slow your roll home slice. Wasabi 6114 <laughs> and Gulthos. Thank you for those followers. You guys are amazing. You guys help us keep everything moving. Also, we're only 100,000 views away from 11 million. And you know, it's probably a little less than that too. It's probably rounding or something like that. Yeah, about 40,000 viewers away. Holy moly. Biatch B Trippin and John O12. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much. You guys don't have any idea how much this means to us. Bryn Gao, 110. <clears throat> I mean, they certainly could subscribe. Because when they subscribe, they'll see a uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful pay-per-view of Milestone 10. It was the culmination of everything in 2020 and 2019, as well as the new beginning of our 2020 adventure after all the shutdowns. And it's our biggest show of the year. So all that packed together for the biggest pay-per-view event for only $5? $5. $5. dollars Five dollars Who made that decision? Me. That was me. Well, then you're a dumbass. Should have wow. been $20. Well, if it was $20, it wouldn't be as easy as subscribing to Twitch. Yeah, subscribe with a tier three subscription. That's $25. All right, well, flower. great. It should be $25. That's what we're worth. We are worth more than that. But I will. I am willing to haggle down to $25 per subscription. But I guess you and your bleeding heart just have to get everybody on Twitch available to watch the greatest pay-per-view on earth, whatever. I mean, if, if I'm being honest here. Perfectly honest? Perfectly honest. You're not the Twitch director, I, I am. Well, no, but and I'm the I producer like, of this goddamn promotion. I feel like the fans deserve a little extra something. And what have they done to deserve that? I do not see all these follows pouring in. Do you not see how our subscriber count, our view count, everything here? They're making us what we are today. No, 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 no. We are making everything. They are making everything. These two are making everything. For all of the wrestlers are making them. everything. No, not for and them. They're, they're doing it for us. themselves so that they can get better at their craft and make money. We are just filming it. All right, whatever you say, Bud Bellflower, but they know the truth. Nah. Looks like we've got Owen Daniels versus Dario Rose. Ooh, a bout of the white shirts. Let's see. Ding, ding, ding. Some newcomers coming in. Owen Daniels looking for the sportsmanship. Yeah. Just shake his yeah. hand, Dario. What's he going to do to you? Just slap it away. You don't need to do this. Oh! oh what is that? Why, why are you like this, Dario? Really giving him the what for us, Dario. Says, I don't need your handshake. I'm going to pin you and show you who the better wrestler is. Oh. All right. 
former mixed martial arts fighter, Owen Daniels. Yeah, I hear that he was the toughest guy at his fraternity and uh, wanted to test out just how tough he really was. Decided to come down to the Al Snow Wrestling Academy Rocky Mountain. Oh, hey, with the overpowering move by Owen. Power. Hey, you got it, Dario. Don't worry about it. You got it, baby. Referee counting, counting that classic 10 count. Dario just wants a chance to breathe after he just got outpowered by Owen Daniels. Yeah, just soaked to the canvas was Dario Rose. The much smaller, more agile Dario Rose. Yeah, he certainly got the weight advantage as Owen, but I don't think he's got the quickness as Dario. Yeah, into a headlock. There we go, Dario. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Attempting that amateur takedown, but not enough to get Dario out. Still got that headlock cinched in. Nice and tight. Oh, but he is using both hands to get it into a hammer lock. Beautiful transition, but I don't think it's gonna last very long. Dario's got that killer instinct, that murderous intent. I don't know. The power of of Owen Daniels here. Oh god, he's Might looking for something. He's looking for limbs straight from the socket. Oh, but into a hammerlock of his own is Dario Rose. Let's see what happens. And also, I just want to point out, it's really awesome being here on the front page of Twitch. Yeah, it's pretty cool that we are in the deserved spot on Twitch. Right front and center, where we are supposed to be. Thank you guys all for joining us from the front page. Oh, headlock takeover by Owens. You guys make all this worth it. Thank you. Dario's looking in a bad way. Oh, no, he's got the pin. Two. Nope, barely a two count, but that was a close one. Shoulders down. Dario might have to find a way to kind of turn that key again. He might be able to break the hold. Yeah, but he's got the gravity on his side. He's got weight. He's got size. He's got everything in his, at his advantage right now. But Dario is looking like he's connecting some dots. There we go with the leg. Oh, there it is. Into a head scissors. That'll humble you. Oh, maybe not. That was a quick breakup. You can call that a Kim Kardashian. Back both to a vertical base. It's like Owens All right, each other away. down. Yeah, with a single leg takedown is Dario. Getting thrown into the referee incidentally, but then another single leg takedown into the cover, but not enough, not even a one count. Good oh, Lord, and all these again. single leg takedowns. Well, maybe a little bit, a little, bit too, a little too much uh, pandering here, maybe. Yeah, uh, I think rappers call that biting. Is that what that is? Yep. Is that the proper lingo? Because that's cool. I learned something today. Bite? Yeah. That's, when you copy somebody. That's slick. I like it. I'm glad I could teach you something, finally. <laughs> All right, well, Owen getting a hammerlock in, but getting straight back into the headlock. But, he is really working the entire upper body of Dario. Yes. Every time I sit next to you, I learn something new. Likewise, but it's usually not something I want to know. Same. Shoots him off. Whoa. Back with the shoulder tackle. You gotta watch out for the bigger opponent. They will shoulder tackle you just like that. Off the ropes. Leap frog. Go over the hip toss. Oh! Push him through. Whoa. And back to the arm. Good God. Got a standing arm bar going. I really don't want to hear the snap, crackle, pop of his left shoulder. I can already hear it. I'm plugging my ears, man. La, 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 la. I How can't hear it. How are you going to hear the bell and know when the match is over? Well, I'll be able to hear the bell. Oh, nice my nice God. Into a nice. That is a cap. That's a hammy crusher. That's interesting. Nice rope break going, Daniels. Oh, okay. Getting a lot of elbows in from Owen Daniels. Hey, man. Ah! Oh! Hello, you fine fellas. How's it going, y'all? Ah, doing well. Both down, spent, exhausted. After that combination of four arm strikes from Owen Daniels, I'm We're surprised. Back to their feet. 
and That's still hitting each other with them forearms. What a low drop oh, kick by Dario. Man. A very smart maneuver by Dario Rose. And back to. Uh oh, what is going on? What's going on? What is this? Oh my God! What? What is that? Oh, that's a calf God. crusher. That's a calf crusher. That's a modified Indian deathlock. A modified Indian deathlock. Thank you. There. Broken. How do you make those look nasty? Yes, arm Go for the arm bar. Oh, the Dario ain't giving it up that easily. Oh, there he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, it's all right, folks. Ding, ding, ding. Oh wow. man. Lots of fantastic high, quick paced matches from our students here at the Al Snow Wrestling Academy, Rocky Mountain. But it's not a simulated match. Yeah. <laughs> it's a scrimmage. <laughs> yeah. A scrimmage. Yeah, I mean, it's sparring. Yeah, call it sparring. Spartan. Yes. 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 Okay. Damn, I like scrimmage. Okay. So we're yeah. So you're gonna do play by play. Jay Buckeye for that. Then you should come on down. You'd have to be a student at the school. You would like to hear the instruction, wouldn't you? I apologize, but that's not something that we are authorized to give you here at the. Uh, mm -hmm. A S W A R M school. Here, fast performance. Are we making our Irish exit? Hey, you know what? I see another toxic, toxic individual in our chat. You want to see a magic trick by Bellflower? Yeah. Ta-da. Sorry, can I get a ta-da from you? Ta-da. Hey. There we go. I mean, I was going to record you saying I thought that, that was your text alert. Make it a, make it a audio thing people can buy on the... On the <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Be good for situation. Yeah, so I think you guys will like this drill. This is a, uh, this is a Jim Ross commentary drill. Working the dynamic between a play-by-play -play and a coming back. So this is going to be pretty cool. And then... Yeah, that's pretty much what we've been doing. He's been doing play-by-play. -play. I've been uh, commentary. I'm trying to learn more moves, but we've been we've been bouncing back and forth. This specific drill, so it's a format where the idea is the play-by-play -play guy will narrate the action until something, essentially a bump or something, and then at that point. The, the, co the color guy speaks in sound bites, makes a definitive statement, and then makes basically a why about that definitive statement. So, okay. You know, Johnny Casanova off the rope, ducks the line, comes back in, tries to show him tech Jumbo, and he is flattened by Jumbo. Well, Jumbo's a horse. You're not going to run into him and win very often. So once the play-by-play -play gives that... Uh, the setup thing. to the definitive Got statement, it. and that is the nature of the verbal drill with the verb... About 75% of the of the verbiage is coming from the play-by-play -play guy. Okay. So it's they're getting in there. You want to head up? All right, boys, you're in there. Get out of here, somebody. Okay. What is up, everybody? This is the kombucha sipping, scarf dripping, child of the moon and sun, the vibe of R&P, Brad Radowski here, along with the handsomest man this side of the Rockies and the other side of the Rockies when I'm over there, Santi. Go! Taking over commentary for the time being. Thank you very much, Brad. That was a beautiful one. Definitely. And that, so what do we got here? So, on your right. Since you're managing this, do you see anything like that or anything like delete? How, how do I delete it? So you right click and then just delete. That's uh, turn on. And then uh, you click the band button. Okay, cool. But not the unbanned button. Thank you, Mr. Howell. Have right. fun. Oh, I will. Talk to the people about Yeah, who, who, who do we got in the ring, Brad? So, to my right, we have the Rocky Mountain Dragon. The veteran of only two and a half years, Purple Shirt Ativa versus Young Hayden, who has been training for quite some time. And as you can tell, the crowd does not favor Ativa as of right now. 
Well, they ought not to, man. He's looking awful like a bully going up against this kid. And Ateba moving his feet, talking to the young man like he should do something. Hayden's got a lot on his hands here. I mean, he's going up against one of the most decorated wrestlers of the Rocky Mountain Pro. And here we go with the lockup. Atiba releases immediately. What can you tell us about Atiba's strategy? I'll tell you, Atiba, I think he's going to try to have fun with uh, young man Hayden here. And then Hayden pushing Atiba to the other side with the flex. Tell you something, Hayden's got some strength I didn't know about. Hayden and Atiba corner each other. Atiba, even though he is amazing, he should not underestimate anybody in the ring that he's going against. Oh, absolutely. Once you start underestimating your opponent, then you'll end up being under your opponent for that pin. And Hayden showing off the muscle that Atiba wishes that he had. He's feeling strong tonight. And here we go, back to the lockup. Oh. Atiba right into the headlock with the headlock takeover. Oh. But where could you, what could you tell us about this, Santi Rico, being down on the ground from a headlock? Being down on the ground from a headlock? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, it's not too difficult to get out of, apparently. And they both stand up. Hayden with the headlock. Taking oh, Atiba oh, over oh, to the oh, floor. Oh, back to him. You go, Hayden. And Atiba schooling the veteran that is Atiba on the floor. What can you tell about the young lion versus master Atiba here? I mean, the young lion always has a chance. He's got fire in him, but Atiba just, he's got the technique and the experience. There's no way, no way. And Atiba with the head scissors, rounding off to the crowd with the amazing talent and a little excessive talent as well. He's clearly enjoying this. He's showing off. And Whoa! He kicks back up with the square off. This oh. has been back and forth, and Atiba applies the headlock once again. I think Atiba's starting to take this a little more seriously, wouldn't you? And Hayden, I would, yes. And Atiba Whoa. delivers Hayden to the floor. Wow. That's a lot of Hayden show. With the, Hayden <laughs> with the drop down. Hayden with the line. And it, it's Hayden with the oh! The hip toss. You got to go for the pin. pin. One. Oh. oh you got Hayden. a one count. He got the pin. I mean, Hayden. Not, not the full pin, but he got on top of him. Hayden very diligent with that hip toss, taking any amount of action that he could in. And Atiba with the oh. chop to the neck. Right to the throat. And Atiba oh. with the chop. On the, oh. Those devastating blows right that Atiba the are delivering to Hayden. He's gonna whip it across. And Atiba brings him right to the corner, charging at him, and with the oh. splash! What can you tell us about having your opponent at the corner since you come? Well, the corner is a good place to have your opponent. Usually you can do a lot of offense in that position. See, Atiba just picked him up and, and is going to throw him. It's as easy as Boom. that. And body slam to Hayden as Hayden holds on to the back. This is a cakewalk for Atiba, it seems like. He's starting to feel himself, but Hayden is no slouch. And Atiba with that headlock takeover, taking it as a breeze. Nice job cutting off his... And Atiba, the grizzled veteran here, with the headlock takeover. I'll tell you, the crowd's picked their favorite tonight. And Hayden having some fight back with some strikes to Atiba to the abdomen. He's still got fight in him. And Hayden delivering. Atiba throws Shot. Hayden off the rope. Shot. And oh. on to Hayden. Another clothesline. And Atiba just stalking Hayden. Going for the pin. One, two. Ooh. And I don't know how many more of those he has in him. And there's still fight left in Hayden. And here comes Atiba with the back stretch. Might be fight, but it's it's waning. It's waning quickly. And Atiba, being a veteran with an arsenal of moves, can manipulate Hayden in many, many ways. And he leaves him the definitive statement. So Hayden, Hayden coming back up as he rises from the ashes. Using those big boy muscles, stops on the foot! Stops on the foot! Oh! A blow! Give him yeah. some punches! A T-Bow! Yeah. Oh. Blow to the face! And a oh. Hayden. Hayden coming back from the T-Bow! And now it's Hayden standing tall! Well, he was. Hayden figuring out the next move. 
Atiba throws the oh, line. Oh, 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 with he's the strike. Straight. And the reversal again. Atiba's doing these looping punches oh. and Hayden's just catching him straight. And, and, Atiba, and Atiba with the headlock. Once again, oh, oh. Hayden with the strikes. Straight to the body. And strike. And the clothesline. And the clothesline. And Hayden setting up for... Finish it, Hayden. Body and slam. Finish it. Yes. And Hayden coming up with the body Oh! And it's an Atiba with a club to the back. Picking up Hayden. Oh! And here he goes! Oh! oh with the school bag roll up! Oh! Hayden oh, did it! Did it. <laughs> Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in miracles, Mr. Rico? <laughs> I'll tell you I didn't before then. Hayden with the victory over the triple crown champion. Unbelievable. Tiba is upset, you can tell. And the crowd's letting him know that he lost. And Hayden, the young lion, defeats Atiba. Even Dewey's feeling good about it. Yeah. And Hayden, a crowd favorite, picks up the victory. Thank you. All right, you, guys, you guys want to rotate? Yeah. Cool. All right, bud, you want to do this round with me? Sure. I'll do play by play and you do color. That'll be, that'll Is that be, cool? And you guys watch us yeah, and critique yeah. us? And we'll talk about it after. Critique you, huh? Not on camera, no. I gotta watch. I gotta watch Twitch chat because they're being a bunch of children right now. Uh, they, that's typically the case. Yep. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of you. Well, we're gonna time you out, and we're gonna time you out. Later, y'all. Maybe you'll behave after you're out of out of time out. Think about what you've done, etc. I don't know. You don't get to go to your best friend's birthday party. They're children, I have to talk to them like such. Couldn't agree more, main dog. Alright, so you guys keep keep mind of the format and give us our critique on that. Okay? And who's doing uh, play I'm doing by play by play? play, by play. He's gonna do color. Awesome. So, so I got to think of concise why. Definitive for, statements. You're okay. you're John Madden. Got it. So I'll start. I'll start calling this once we get the guys in yep, here. Yep. Yep. So yeah, basically anytime there's action, I'm going to be narrating until there's time to. Until there's breath. Yeah. Something to something to give depth to. Got it. Something worth. Got it. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll do. I'll do that ad break. Yeah. We got our, are these our two guys? <clears throat> Those are the refs right now. Oh, okay. And now that's Jeremy and Justin, Jeremy right? Yeah. Are you injured? My shoulder's been fucked for like eight months. Do we know who the next sparring match is going to be, Chunga? Oh, yeah. Do we, do we know what the next match is? I have a great one. AC for the sake of the drill? We got an MRI and stuff for it, but like, it's just the next match is. Yeah. For the commentary yeah, drill? Because we're like so making up backstory shoulder stuff. Shoulder. It's, 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 it's going to be, uh, like we'll probably, we'll have Bruno. Yeah, yeah but like, all right. I've been going to the ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you ready? Uh, yep. right. ladies and gentlemen, this is Chongo Bronson yeah, along with Bud Bloodflower on, on, on color with me tonight here. Uh, we're getting ready for our next matchup. We've got the monster Buffalo Boomer versus Owen Daniels. Oh, Owen Daniels. Yes. What can you tell us about Owen Daniels? Well, yeah. the thing that I know about him is that he was the toughest guy in his fraternity, and he uh, wanted to test his mettle, so to speak. He wanted to see if he would find anybody that was tough as him. 
Now, and here he is in Rocky Mountain Pro. Now, what do you think of his early showings here in Rocky Mountain Pro? Well, he shows a lot of good promise as a striker, but he doesn't hold up well against the green, the blue, the purple shirts, the red shirts. So he's got a long way to go, but I see potential in him. Okay, now what can you tell me about the, the Monster Buffalo brew map? Man, the Monster Buffalo, the, the Mambello Buffalo is huge. He's got the size advantage, the weight advantage, the strength advantage, and he uses that to his advantage. But I, I don't know. I don't know, because Owen Daniels has been uh, pretty crafty lately. Yes, now, now Brumac made his debut in the Battle Royal at Milestone 10, did he not? He did. And what can you tell us about the performance that he put on in that debut? Oh, it was fantastic. He was one of the last four people in the ring. And he was, what, maybe number 20? He wasn't near the end, but he stayed in there till the end. Yes, yeah, several eliminations, right? He's he may right. have had the most eliminations behind Filter. Yes, that's a, that's a tremendous showing and a debut for a young up-and-comer. This is two of our uh, top up-and-coming talents here, here in Rocky Mountain Pro. Now, now what, do you, what is your, your in-depth analysis on this matchup? How do you think this matchup plays out tonight? Well, I would say that it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a real strike fest from Owen Daniels, and it will probably be matched by Montbello Buffalo. But I'm just going to tell you, that if you are a subscriber, you don't have to witness this ad break, but if you're not one of the cool kids, I'll see you in a minute. Also, why is my phone doing this? What? All right. So what is that? I don't know, my phone just started playing oh, music. That's fine, are we? Uh... Yeah, we're, st we're still alive for the subscribers. Okay, so did you guys hear how that was? Yeah, like these... Where I was basically setting him up, yeah. right? Asking did, questions. Did you feel that? Answer. Yeah, you were like an interviewer. Asking yeah, questions. I'm almost, almost, right? Because you're, you're John Madden in the booth, bro. They don't want to hear John Madden say it's third and 17. They want to hear why he, John Madden explain why Brett Favre got third and 17 for a first time. Yep. No, what? Yeah, subscribe. Oh, I thought we were off. No, first subscribers were still on. Oh, I thought you went to commercial. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you're good. You're good. It's tough to get used Tell to. Tell me when the hard cam is on. I've always thought I would read the And program. we're back. Yes. And we are back. Twitching Even all of you non-subscribers can hear us now. Yeah. So, we'll be setting the proverbial table. Okay. All right. Now, what what do you expect technically in this matchup? How do you, how do you, how do you propose that young Owen is going to approach strategically going against the much larger and stronger opponent in the Buffalo? Well, I would imagine he would go low, try to go for the ankles and the knees, but I think that the Montbello Buffalo is just too strong for Owen Daniels. I think that it's going to be just an absolute uh, slugfest from his, from his end. Yeah, so if you, if you were Owen, how would you go about conquering the superior man? What would be your strategy at first for a striker with the background of, a, of the relatively new Owen Daniels. Well, like I said earlier, I go for the knees and ankles, but I would also play really snug to the rules. You got four and a half seconds whenever they, t whenever they start counting. Use all of them, man. You got to use all that to get all that meat down and keep them down. Well, I have, I have been impressed with the character of young Owen Daniels, and I, he doesn't strike me as the type of young chap that would be looking to bend the rules to gain an advantage. I think he's a He's got the heart of a scrapper, and I think he stands a fair chance in this matchup. Maybe a better chance than you, Bud Bloodflower, are giving him credit for. Well, perhaps, but I think that you have to play snug to the rules if you want to succeed in this sport. I mean, yeah, you can show off to the fans, and you can wag your ass around and do whatever else, but at the end of the day, if you lose, you lose. And I'm pretty sure that if he doesn't play snug to them rules, he's going to lose. Now, now, okay, we have an additional matchup later tonight. We're going to be seeing... The demon Lilith Grimm, she will be getting in the ring with the all-time most decorated uh, locket of all time, Ali Gato. Oh, again, all right. What do you think? What can you tell us about this, this matchup we're going to be seeing here shortly? Well, these are two strong women, Chongo. Uh, from what I've seen from the demon, she will uh, forearm your jaw into hell, right where she lives. And then Ali Gato is uh, ruthless with the claws, the... Uh, the attack, she's got a whole lot of momentum. She's, uh, I don't know, she's the veteran for sure. She's got the experience edge over the demon, but the demon has the strength advantage, I would say. So it's a really even matchup. An even matchup, you say? Maybe. Now, 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 now so what you're, telling, what you're telling the audience right now is that 
the entirety of a career of the most decorated champion in the history of the division versus someone who has had not one singles match yet in Rocky Mountain Pro. You think that that is... match. She has had at least one single match. A single match, you say. <laughs> Than none. It's one is better than none. This is true, but you say that the that the the monumental mismatch and experience does not make a difference, and that this is still a this is still a pick 'em fight. Well, I do only because I know that Lilith Grimm likes to play snug to them rules, and Ali Gato likes to show out for the fans. Yes, I agree. Lilith Grimm does not look like the kind of competitor that it's going to uh, care about uh, standing on ceremony, how long somebody's been there, or what they have accomplished. She looks like she is here to go to the top of the food chain very quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as, as far as Ali's strategy for, for this match tonight, what do you think Ali Gato has to do to be successful in this matchup with the powerful newcomer, Lilith Grimm? Well, like I said, she's got the experience edge, so she's probably just got to be patient with her. Let her tire herself out. You know, uh, have you ever seen that match between Muhammad Ali and, oh God, was it Joe Frazier? He just kept circling. George circling. Foreman, man! George Foreman, <laughs> well, you know what? I forget which one, because he did it a lot, but he circled backwards for minutes, minutes on end. We're about to yes. get to the action, though. And, and the bell is rung, and we are underway here at, at the, at the uh, line! The r &P <laughs> Performance Center. Thank you, thank you. And we've got, we've got feeling each other out, Brumark throwing the foot up. Feeling the territory with the with the more more experienced striker, the, the professional wrestling ring, strong collar and elbow here, dropped down to an ankle pick by Young Owen Daniels, reach back for the headlock. He's got control early on the ground of the bigger man. Yeah, he's got him on the ground, just like I was talking about. You got to get the beast down. Now, working the arm, Brumach very fresh, very dry. It's it's hard to get a good grip yet. Oh, oh my god! god. Yes. Yes. Right in the vision of the referee, showing right away that he has the superior aggressiveness. He has countered the maneuver. Powerful, powerful grappling by the big buffalo. What, is, what does Daniels have to do to get out of this precarious position? He's got to work out more and get stronger. Because Oh, no, there he goes. Now, working back to his feet now. Yes, the superior grappler with the step under and the counter on the bigger man. Oh, that's a nasty hammer lock. And, and, and bringing the tension from the torque of the hold brings the bigger man down to a knee. He is working, working the limb early. That he is, and that's what you got to do whenever you don't have the size advantage. Yes, what do you think, Typey Dude? Does this look like a good strategy going against the larger man? He's got, he's got Brumach down on the knee. He's really working the shoulder. He's made it to the, made it to the ropes. And that's where he should have used all four and a half seconds. Yes, well, that, that shows, shows a bit of the inexperience. And there's the pure power of the big moo, Brumark. Not too happy about the, about the wrenchery on the arm of occasion. Uh, you, can see, you can see the fire in his eye. Oh, and you can see the strength in his left arm. Yes, tremendous, tremendous force being applied. Firing back now. The striking background evident from Young Owen Daniels sends reverse bigger man with the counter. And he has taken Brumach off his feet. How did he do that? That is amazing. Brumach ducks Ducking the line, line, coming in, counters the hip toss, shot to the body, working the big man, trying to break down the larger man. Brumach keeping his posture, good technique. Keeping and that the, back straight. The power. Oh my lord. He's dead. He goes for the cover. One, two, Ooh, and a strong kick out. Count. Barely a count of two. What does Owen Daniels need to do to take advantage of that damaged shoulder? Well, he's got to start getting a little higher, I guess. I, th I think I was wrong about going low. He's got to start wrenching that shoulder. Yes, Brumach definitely showing the dominance, showing the control, taking his time. Slips out the back door. A good counter. And Brumach shuts it down. They're still working. He's got a hold of that limb now. Yeah, he's got to be a little more aware. He got caught with a deer in the headlights look. Ooh, a powerful shot to the body. Oh, no, he's paying for it. Yes. Oh, and you got to find something deep within yourself because you are down by five, and it is the ninth inning, man. And Brumark powers his man over and goes for the pinfall. That's what you need to do. Put your man away, showing the more experience of the two. The powerful, powerful... Buffalo allowing his man back to his feet. Do you think he's toying with him too much, though? Yeah, he might be playing with his food a little bit, but at the same time, you just gotta do what you do best. Yes, yeah, short rabbit punches, gaining the advantage. Drops oh my underneath God. for the fireman. No way. Brumach 
No He's way. Got so much power. Yeah, no way. It ain't happening. Oh. oh. And a tremendous blow. Yeah, a little too. this man back down to the floor. A little too overzealous was Owen Daniels. Yes. The last place you want to be, Logan. Is in the grip of the Montbello Buffalo in the middle of the ring. Yes. What What can the smaller underdog do here to get some space and, and, and create an advantage to get back out from underneath this monster? Well, I'd say a rope break, but I guess that doesn't work. But right now, he's between a rock and a hard place. He's down for the count right now. He's going to give up right now. Brumar shooting the half Nelson, looking to wrench his man, really wear, wearing down the smaller man on the ground. Yes. He sat through, and now we have a full Nelson applied. Oh, and just rent, getting the head all the way down into the clavicle of, of Owen Dan Oh, my yes. God, was that a low blow? It looked like he was just firing back, showing the fighting spirit. He's got the big man rocking. And he's able to withstand the fire, the fire from the smaller man and come back and, and really cut him down. What can Owen Daniels do at this point to get back in this match? He's got to have a more sustained offense because he's only, he's flashing in the pan is what he's doing. He's got to... Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he caught him with the point of the elbow on the head. Holy and, smokes. Yes. Everything he had no, he got to do is shot, him. He got the bigger man. Get over there, Owen. He's made the cover. One. A two! Oh, oh and a powerful no. kick out! God, it took a, a little too long. Kick out. Took a little too long to get there. Yes. Oh my god. Even while laying down, Brumach is one tough boy. Yeah, but do you think it's wise to go for a headbutt immediately after you've been dropped with an elbow to the crown of the head? Well, I don't know if Brumach is very wise. He's just very strong. Yes. Tremendous shot. Returned! These two are showing everything they've got right now. They're leaving it all on the line. They are firing. Lots of heavy forearms from both competitors. Yes, and the one place the young competitor has the advantage is in the striking department. Showing that now. Oh! Oh, but quickly into a beautiful headlock. transition. Oh, and a submission. Let go of him, Bruno. Okay. And he is tapped out. Ding, ding, ding. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys want to switch? You guys back on. Hey, we're, uh, he told me to raid. I don't know when he met, so let me go ask off if he meant to raid Zicky Dice now. And you guys jump in until whatever. No, I mean, the exercise is to do is. All right, so before we get into this next match, we are going to raid Zicky Dice. So everybody that's here, make sure that you stay in here. Say hello. Use a little bit of emotes from the Rocky Mountain Pro Channel. And be sure to say hello to the outlandish Zicky Dice. You can catch us here every weekday at 6.30, except for Fridays. PM here at the Fast Performance Center. This is Bud Bellflower for Santi R R R R R Rico what? and Brad Radowski, Chongo Bronson, as well as the Great Hoff, the allegedly Great Hoff. Chongo! Chongo! <laughs> raid, 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 raid. So, did you guys have any thoughts on that? Uh, wait, it was a good word. Talking at you. Okay, we're, are we off? 